August 21, 2020, Pacific Ocean. 40 Coast Guard members are enjoying a peaceful swim call when suddenly, shark, six to eight feet of pure predator heading straight for them. Armed guards open fire. Bullets hit the water. But here's what actually happened next that will shock you. The shark wasn't killed. Our sailors weren't hurt. And what unfolded reveals the incredible training and protocols that make our Navy and Coast Guard the most prepared maritime force on Earth. This is the untold story of when apex predators meet America's floating fortresses. The moment those bullets hit the water near the Coast Guard cutter Kimball, Maritime Enforcement Specialist Samuel Sintron wasn't panicking. He was doing exactly what he'd been trained to do. Fire controlled bursts to deter, not destroy. Keep the shark away from his shipmates with precision accuracy. And it worked. The shark backed off with each burst but kept returning, testing the waters around America's finest. If you're proud of how our Coast Guard handled this situation, type proud in the comments below. But this wasn't chaos. This was a perfectly executed safety protocol that's been refined over decades. The Kimball crew had followed every single safety measure. They'd conducted safety briefings, established communications between all stations, launched a small boat with rescue swimmers positioned 50 yards from the ship, set up their armed shark watch, manned their rescue station, put accountability systems in place. Now you might be wondering, how often does this actually happen? Here's the incredible truth. Many sailors have never witnessed such an encounter in their entire careers. The odds of a shark attack are one in four million in the United States, one in 28 million worldwide. But our military doesn't plan for the likely. They prepare for everything. Let's talk about what really attracts sharks to these massive ships in the first place. It's not what you'd expect. Ships create acoustic signatures from their engines and sonar systems. The metal hulls generate electromagnetic fields, sometimes food waste discharge. Sharks are curious creatures, and these floating cities represent something completely new in their ancient world. The most legendary Shark Navy encounter happened back in 1945. The USS Indianapolis had just delivered components for the atomic bomb that would end World War II. On July 30th, a Japanese submarine fired two torpedoes into her hull. The ship sank in 12 minutes. Nearly 900 men found themselves floating in shark-infested waters. For five grueling days, these brave sailors faced the ultimate test of survival. Sharks circled. Men died from injuries, dehydration, salt poisoning, and yes, shark attacks. But here's what the movies don't tell you. Most deaths weren't from sharks. They were from the elements, the ocean itself. And through it all, these men showed the kind of courage that defines American service members. Only 316 survived. It remains the greatest loss of life at sea in Navy history. But from that tragedy came wisdom, protocols, training, the kind of preparation that saved every single swimmer during that 2020 Coast Guard encounter. Today's Navy SEALs train in waters where sharks are common. San Clemente Island, known for its SEAL population and shark activity. Thousands of training swims have been conducted there. Not one single SEAL trainee has ever been attacked by a shark. Not one. Why? Because our special forces know something important. Sharks don't hunt humans. We're not on their menu. Most encounters happen because of mistaken identity or curiosity. Before we continue with more incredible stories, here's a quick favor. If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Most viewers watch without subscribing, and it really helps us bring you more stories about America's finest. Did you hit subscribe? But what about aircraft carriers? These floating cities are in a league of their own, nearly 1,100 feet long, 90,000 tons of American engineering. When a shark encounters one of these giants, 
It's like a minnow meeting a whale. The electromagnetic signature alone from these nuclear-powered behemoths extends for miles underwater. The acoustic footprint is massive, yet encounters remain incredibly rare. Here's something fascinating. Modern research shows that electric deterrent systems can be highly effective against sharks. Scientists have developed detection rates of over 90% using professional observers and advanced equipment. Our Navy has access to technology that makes civilian shark deterrence look like toys. But let's get back to that 2020 incident. As those Coast Guard members climbed back aboard the Kimball, something remarkable happened. The shark didn't disappear. It hung around, joined by a few smaller companions. Then they all swam off together. No harm done to anyone, not the humans, not the sharks. The crew even saved their inflatable unicorn float. Today it's on display at the Coast Guard Academy Museum in Connecticut, signed by the very man who fired those protective shots. This tells us everything about American military values. Protect first, use minimum necessary force, respect the ocean and its creatures. Mission accomplished. Now let's talk about swim calls themselves. This tradition goes back centuries. In the days before showers and unlimited fresh water, captains would anchor in calm seas and order all hands to bathe. It was about hygiene and morale. Today, it's pure morale. These men and women spend months at sea, serving our nation. When weather permits and safety allows, they get to jump into the ocean and remember they're human beings, not just sailors. Fresh water on Navy ships is limited. They use desalination processes, but it's slow. Showers are brief affairs. Rinse, turn off water, soap up, rinse off. So when there's a chance to safely swim in the open ocean, it's welcomed relief. The 2024 data shows something incredible. Unprovoked shark attacks worldwide hit a record low, just 47 incidents globally. That's the lowest in nearly 30 years. Meanwhile, our Navy and Coast Guard continue their missions without interruption. But early 2025 has shown some increases in certain regions. Australia reported five attacks with three fatalities. Israel experienced its first recorded fatal shark attack. However, naval encounters remain virtually non-existent. Our military trains for the unexpected. Navy personnel learn basic shark encounter protocols. If a shark approaches, strike the nose firmly. Sharks typically retreat. Maintain eye contact. Move deliberately, not frantically. Stay in groups when possible. But here's the real secret weapon. Respect. Our sailors understand their visitors in the ocean. Sharks have been here for over 400 million years. They've survived five mass extinctions. These ancient predators deserve our respect, not our fear. The technology protecting our ships continues advancing. Long range electric deterrence, acoustic warning systems, advanced sonar that can distinguish between threats and harmless marine life, our Navy operates with tools that most people can't even imagine. Yet the most important protection isn't technology, it's training, discipline. The kind of calm professionalism that turned a potential disaster into a textbook safety demonstration. Think about Maritime Enforcement Specialist Cintron for a moment. 40 sailors in the water, six foot shark approaching, split second decisions required. He didn't panic, didn't overreact, fired precisely placed deterrent shots, kept his shipmates safe, protected the shark from unnecessary harm. That's American military excellence. The ocean covers 71% of our planet. Our Navy protects sea lanes that carry 90% of global trade. They encounter every form of marine life imaginable. Whales, dolphins, sea turtles, and yes, occasionally sharks. Each encounter becomes part of their experience, part of their story. 
part of the living history of American naval service. Recent research into shark behavior reveals fascinating insights. These predators are incredibly intelligent. They investigate new objects in their environment. A massive aircraft carrier or destroyer represents something completely unprecedented in millions of years of evolution. Most sharks investigate briefly and move on. They're looking for food, not trouble. Human beings simply don't register as prey to most shark species. We're too bony, too strange, too different from their normal diet. The sharks that do pose potential threats, great whites, bull sharks, tiger sharks, are actually quite rare in the deep ocean waters where our major naval vessels operate. They, they prefer coastal areas where their prey is more abundant. This explains why the 2020 Kimball incident was so unusual. That shark, identified as either a longfin mako or pelagic thresher, was probably just curious about these strange floating objects and the unusual activity in its territory. Our Coast Guard responded perfectly, protected their people, respected the marine life, followed established protocols. No one was hurt. Everyone learned something. And the story became part of Coast Guard legend. The professionalism displayed that day reflects decades of evolution in military training. Gone are the days of shoot first, ask questions later. Today's military operates with precision, restraint, and respect for all life. This approach extends to every aspect of naval operations. Environmental protection, marine conservation, sustainable practices. Our Navy and Coast Guard aren't just defenders of freedom, they're stewards of the oceans they patrol. When sharks encounter American naval vessels, they're meeting the most professional, best trained, most environmentally conscious maritime force in human history. A force that can project power across the globe while protecting a single inflatable unicorn during a swim call. That balance of strength and compassion defines American military service. The men and women serving on these ships represent the finest of our nation. They volunteered to spend months away from home, defending interests they may never see, protecting people they'll never meet. When they get a chance to enjoy a swim call, they've earned it. And when a shark shows up uninvited, they handle it with the same professionalism they bring to every challenge. No drama, no panic, just trained individuals doing their jobs with skill and precision. The 2020 incident produced amazing video footage that went viral for good reason. It showed American military personnel at their absolute best, calm under pressure, protective of their teammates, respectful of marine life, mission focused and successful. That footage represents everything right about American military culture, strength when needed, restraint when possible, success through superior training and teamwork. As we look toward the future, shark encounters with naval vessels will likely remain extremely rare. Our ships are getting smarter, our crews better trained, our understanding of marine behavior more sophisticated. But if another shark decides to crash a swim call, American sailors will be ready. They'll follow their protocols, protect their people, respect the ocean's predators, and get everyone home safely. Because that's what America's finest do, every single day. The ocean may belong to the sharks, but the seas belong to the United States Navy and Coast Guard. And that makes all the difference. Those brave Coast Guard members on the Kimball showed us something special that day. They proved that American military excellence isn't just about firepower, it's about precision, professionalism, and respect for all life. If this story inspired you, consider subscribing for more incredible tales of American service members doing extraordinary things. Until next time, remember, freedom isn't free, and heroes don't always wear capes. Sometimes they acquire Coast Guard uniforms and save both sailors and sharks in the same afternoon.